Hybrid editing made easy. This hybrid photography vlog post is brought to you by ProShow. Photodex.com. Hey guys, Steve out here in LA for discovermirrorless.com. Now I know there's a lot of photographers looking to jump into doing hybrid photography, and that's awesome. But there seems to be one thing that's holding a lot of them back, and that's the fear over doing video. Now I'll admit, video can be a little scary, a little intimidating. You gotta learn this whole new skill set. And it's a little harder to make it look professional. So I wanted to offer you guys a few little tips and tricks that I've learned along the way to make my videos look a little more professional. And not so much like the home video that you're used to seeing from your friends and family. So one of the things that can really speak professional over home video is the ability to keep your shot steady. Now, nothing speaks home video more than shaky shots that are looking like this all over the place. So one of the ways I have learned to conquer this is by really getting in a nice tense stance, tuck my elbows in, get my shoulders kind of stiff. And I'm bringing the camera up because I'm shooting with a mirrorless camera here. This is the Panasonic Lumix G5. I have the ability to shoot video while looking through the EVF of the camera. So I can hold it up. I can get a nice steady shot, bring my thing, my shoulders in, and then kind of tuck it in and, and start shooting video. Because I'm doing this, it really stabilizes my shot compared to what I'd get if I were holding it out here and just, you know, hoping my hands would keep it steady. Another thing that can be done to keep a nice stable shot when shooting with some of the screens that do not have EVFs, or if you'd like to carry your camera on your shoulder a lot, is to get in there with your strap. Tighten it up, nice and tight. And then you can bring your camera around and tuck it right in there like this. Now I'm holding it against my body. I can easily use some tension right here and this creates a nice stable platform as well. So I get a nice looking shot. I use this a lot when I'm doing my, my personal home videos and I'm shooting with my little Lumex GF3 that I have. It works really well since I don't have an EVF on that camera. Now one thing that can really make your videos kind of look that home video look is to have one angle the whole time and have it panning and zooming. Yeah. Here's a tip that I like to use a lot and it's something that took me a little bit to learn but I found it to work very well. And that's to keep your clips kind of short, get a nice angle, get it on one thing, even use a tripod. The slower you shoot sometimes, the better you're gonna learn. And plus, your shot's gonna look really stable on a tripod. But you keep that nice shot, you let the movement come in and out of the frame. You let the movement dictate where that video is going and not the movement of the camera. Now don't get me wrong, there are some pretty advanced techniques and tools you can use to get really nice movement into your shots. There's sliders, there's dollies, there's these bracket things that can hold your camera at odd angles, and heck, there's even remote controlled helicopters which can fly your camera up in the air and get a nice overhead view. I really want to do that, but those are advanced tools for advanced looks and you might get there at some point, but right now, don't worry about it. Okay, so the final tip I have to get your videos to the next higher quality professional looking looks is to get varied angles. Have the ability to tell a story through the different uh, clips that you're taking. For an example, you have a scene in front of you. There's people sitting at a dining room table. Get a nice wide shot. That's your setup shot that shows where you are, what you're doing. Okay, now what exactly are they doing? Let's get a couple shots. Maybe someone is up close and drinking some tea. Okay, so you cut to your two shot. Now there's two people that are having an interesting, lively conversation going on. So you get the audio in there, you listen to their conversation, and you have that two shot of them. Now maybe you even cut back and forth from close-ups of their different looks of their faces talking. That right there. That is storytelling. Now you don't have to do that with your hybrid U products, but it's a great example. And uh, sometimes I like to get some varied angles too. Like, for example, with my cameras, I got this tilty flip screen. Well, I can get down low. I can get the child's perspective. Maybe I'm shooting toddlers running around. I do that with my uh, daughter uh, quite a bit. So I get low, kind of follow her around. And that look's gonna, gonna make it look yeah. really interesting. Now remember to, to keep the other tips in mind, of course. Keep a nice stable shot, 
as stable as you can get it. Get a nice angles. And you know what? Your video is going to look good. Now I've got to say, one thing you can do to really improve your vision as a videographer is to pay attention at night. When you're sitting there watching television or you go into the theater and you're watching a film, definitely pay attention to the camera angles, the cuts, and how they're telling the story through the different looks. And I guarantee, by paying attention to that, it's going to stick. And it's going to uh, make you a better videographer in the end. Now, I have a pretty extensive background with television production and filming and uh, electronic news gathering, and I've done quite a bit. And that's one of the ways I improved my overall vision and ability to, to storytell through my videos was by paying attention and studying those films. <laughs> there's a great tip for you guys. So there's a few helpful tips and tricks to getting you to shooting better, more professional video quality so your clients can really feel like you're giving them something grand. Now I gotta say though, video is not hard. It's really quite simple and anybody can learn to shoot really good quality video. It's kind of like that Ratatouille movie, you know, where the chef says anybody can cook? Yeah, something like that. I do have to say though, my kids can even shoot a little video on my camera sometimes. Not exactly what I had in mind at showing you, but don't worry, my cameras are all fine, everything's okay. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Just remember to check out discovermirrorless.com where our team of hybrid heroes is vlogging on a daily basis with the latest in hybrid photography, e-products, talking portraits, and a lot more helpful tips and tricks on improving your audio and video quality. I will see you guys again soon. Until next time, keep it simple and get out there and shoot. Bye. Hybrid editing made easy. This hybrid photography vlog post is brought to you by ProShow. Photodex.com.